Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. Skaters, we'll get two lines, we'll do six o'clock, 12 o'clock, and then we'll skate right through to the red, and then we'll go back down on that side, okay? To be a blackhead coach in hockey has its share of challenges. There are people who don't feel you belong. For coach Cyril Bowlers, he used that doubt as motivation. Let's talk about your personal journey. Coaching, how did it find you? I went to coaching. Um, it was something that when our eldest was playing, uh, I was told that I couldn't coach because of the color of my skin. And when somebody tells me I can't do something, I want to prove them wrong. I fell in love with the game and understanding that the game was about inclusion. It wasn't about color of skin. And then after time, it, it became a passion of mine. It became, how can I develop other kids? Or how can I develop kids, period, regardless of color of skin or gender? As coach bowlers continued to fall in love with the game, he began developing young hockey players of all nationalities through a program called the Skills Black Aces. It's a program that started, you've going back 21, 22 years. It's a program that started in Scarborough and it was for kids of color at the time. Kevin Weeks was involved in its infancy uh, and, and the program was based on giving kids the opportunity, males, females, or just kids in general, the opportunity to play a sport that they might not necessarily know anything about. When we started out, it was myself and Wayne Jose. So Josh and CJ played on the same minor hockey team. So CJ was eight and Josh was nine and they, we made it a skate and it was just two black guys in a rink. Of course, the Caribbean flavor, like he's Guyanese and you know, I'm Jamaican. You know, you do that little banter and, and then all of a sudden there's a relationship. We connected right away. So Wayne said to me, he said, hey, you know what? Why don't we put a team together where we can get all kids of color? And I said, Wayne, are you sure there's a lot of kids of color that could play hockey at this level, at this age group? And we put the feeler out and behold, we had 20, 30 kids show up, all obviously some at different levels. And, and that's how the team formed And that's how it was. So <laughs> you've gifted this to me, which I think is beautiful. So what's the story behind the logo? <laughs> you know, when we first started, at, you know, the Black Aces program, we just wanted to sort of represent our culture and we also wanted to represent who we were as individuals. And the first thing that came to mind was this logo here, uh, you know, gentleman with a half row and glasses, but that's just, that was just who we were. Under Coach Bowlers and Wayne Hosang, the program took off, creating an environment that embraced the idea of diversity and inclusion. We didn't see color in the dressing room, but we saw color in the rinks. So there's times when we're playing sports and we'd hear the racial slurs and we'd hear that. And, and that was something that as coaches, it was our job to teach them just continue to persevere. We can't change that narrative. But what we can do is when we're in this dressing room, we are one. We're playing in a tournament in Montreal and we're playing the top team in Montreal at the time and we're in the finals. So before the game, you know, I, I normally give these long speeches and Brennan the Muse stands up in the middle of the room and says to the team, guys, they don't respect us because we're all black. And, and Brennan, blonde here kid, Brennan the Muse telling everybody that. And the whole room erupted uh, because, you know, he felt so passionate about being part of the team that he forgot he, he wasn't black. Brendan Lemieux isn't the only NHLer to have taken part in the program. Detroit's Robbie Fabry and Darnell Nurse of the Edmonton Oilers have also learned under Coach Bowlers. CJ is one of my favorite coaches. I played for his Skills Black Aces team, and CJ just always brought this positive energy. There was always a smile on his face, but you knew you, you, knew you had to get the work. He's someone who always expected the best of you as well, so uh, I was very fortunate to play for him. While Coach Bowlers has shared his wisdom with many players over the years, some of the parents have also learned a lot, including Toronto Raptors play-by-play -play announcer Matt Devlin and retired NHLer Steve Larmer. It comes across, number one, that he loves the game of hockey, and that is, as we know, uh, you know, something that is extremely important and it's transferable and translatable, right? And for Luke, who played under him, he'll always say, there is no one that gives a better pre-game motivational speech than Coach Bowlers. Remember that uh, 
you are the only person that can stop you from getting to where you want to be, right? He's a great communicator. And I think that's the key to anybody that wants to get into coaching is, you know, to be able to communicate. And you knew where you stood and uh, he wanted everybody to, you know, push the pace in practice and work hard. They're going to come down for on show. So they're going to come down. Just make sure that you're positioned. Big square sponge, right? Yeah. As Coach Bowler's hockey journey continues, he hopes to break even more barriers. You are so accomplished in the coaching world. Do you want more? I always want more. Um, I'd love to be an NHL coach one day. I'd love to be coaching pro one day. My time will come. My time will come. I can't let somebody dictate to me in life who I am. And the moment you let somebody dictate who you are, then you're no longer living your life. Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.